year 2024 and we talk about influence, influencers. But if you go a decade ago, that was not the age of influencers, but people on TV were influencing and there were few who were influencing us in the right way. And we have one such name who influenced us back then and right now in 2024 is also influencing us in same in the same shape yeah. how is he able to do that we'll figure out give it up for run vijay singha a very warm welcome we try to understand impact innovation and influence from you and we have to start with roadies you know the kind of impact it created the kind of impact mtv created and wo munna bhai mein dialogue na circuit says um, bhai ne bola karne ka to karne ka hmm. he is that bhai for us whatever you do whatever you say there are young boys out there who are ready to replicate it who are ready to imitate you first of all what's the recipe behind creating that kind of influence back in those days when there was no social media thanks man that's a very heavy um layered introduction really appreciate it um first of all it's not by design it's by default uh if if somebody sits here and says main to aise plan kiya tha ki main influence karunga logon ko that's not that's not the case but every time a door is open every time there's an opportunity to do so one has to have the responsibility and the maturity to do it to so, uh us time par there were not uh, social media platforms that are, an individual has but i had a platform which was a tv channel which was viewed we did similar things for brands that we do today on an individual uh, capacity at that time say if it was a motorcycle we were doing what influencers do today on that scale on television this is a cool motorcycle cool people go to different parts of country do cool things go out of their boundaries to test themselves achieve stuff and hence the brands that are associated with that show it's basically called at that time afps but do you agree that these guys were much cooler <laughs> yeah, yeah? You have a lovely audience here as well, please. उस टाइम पे लोग ही कम थे. So <laughs> now there are so many people. I think I think that's the thing. So over a period of time, what has happened is you said 2024. This is 2003. The first roadies that happened. I was 20 and I'm 41. The key is to stay relevant and current. अगर आप ढोंग कर रहे हैं कि मैं एक बाइकर हूँ, you're in love with the image of wearing that leather jacket and being in Leh Ladakh, taking a photo because you've seen others do it. But when you actually get into the brass tacks of riding a motorcycle wo dhool mitti jab muh mein lagti hai when your shoulders hurting your back hurting when you have acute mountain sickness ams you realize that you're not actually a biker so that's why the passionate bikers today are influencers in that niche that is why sports people and, and fitness freaks are influencers in that niche because everybody wants to be everybody who's famous is not an influencer you can be famous to be because you're a writer actor doctor sports person not necessarily an influencer in each of those things a very famous cricketer cannot be an influencer in fashion and very famous actor can also not probably act well i mean that's that's subjective <laughs> talent talent is talent is it just happens. and i'm not i'm not a judgey person so i feel like or वैसे भी acting mein to main nahi bolunga but so what's happened is that over a period of time people who saw you on a show and said hey this bike is cool yeah, and this uh, watch is cool and then they've also grown so that was a g-shock watch now it's a garmin watch they want they're saying ye banda to pehle to 7000 ki gaadi bech raha tha ab mere paas bhi paise hain 40 saal main bhi ye khareed sakta so you're influencing people who spend is also gone up the other aspects that you're talking about is that i'm not just an influencer or a celebrity i'm also an owner of some brands so i have to also think like how these guys are thinking who works for my brand do i only work for my brand or does a virat kohli work for my brand or should i start a brand where first i work if he become big then we get a virat kohli does virat kohli have black coffee yes he has so his followers will believe that he is a brand ambassador of rage coffee fantastic now i'm not the brand ambassador but i own a part of the brand and virat is the so it's a it's a journey you can't you can't plan ki ek din mere so i feel like if you know where you are if you're true to yourself till date if you see my audition in 2003 i said a few things i love to ride bikes i love to i love adventure i love uh, motorcycles there are four five things today if you see or follow me and see the things that i do it's the same 
You're still that adrenaline junkie. Because yeah. I'm that guy. Yaar. I wasn't lying then and I'm not lying now. So, and that every brand that I've worked with, every person that I've worked with will vouch for. Now that I have my own uh, Instagram and social media handles, man, it's, it's crazy. I can put out there whatever I want. I have built verticals for myself. So I couldn't have been a dad influencer at that age, but when I did become a dad, and the kind of dad that I want to project is out there for people to come and say, let's do Pampers. Or, I'm, I don't want to say brands, I'm just saying uh, these examples. It's okay, you can, we'll beep it. Right. Unless they agree to pay us. I mean, they paid me, so I'm okay. I'm just okay. Just, so, so, so you attract what you are. Okay. And if you stay true, the guy who likes you on day one, also with me, the ease, the... The easy thing was, or the, by default I said, is that I wasn't playing a character. For a lot of these years that people consumed me, I tried characters, that's different. But I was, I was myself on MTV. You're consuming me as Ranvijay, not a Vikram, Inspector, Ra no. You said, okay, so if you liked me, and you said, okay, uh, what does he think about this ongoing situation? Which is also another platform that we had, the podcast that you're watching today, that interview session that you've seen one-on-one -on -one is me talking about a guy and me and my, my guys, what do you think about women empowerment, for example, or or to gizat honi chahi nahi honi chahi. Us time pe podcast chal raha It is our views, which could be right or wrong, but for people who are watching us, they're like, okay, they have the information ki yin loon ko aisa lagta hai ki ye cheez sahi hai, aapko izzat deni chahiye, desh ki izzat karni chahiye. If you like me, you'll follow the same thing. If you don't, I'm not saying it's the right thing. Right. So we had that power that we were ourselves, and we didn't know it was a power. You know, I'll, I'll touch upon the mentoring part of it, uh, but since you mentioned the acting bit, uh, does Harman make you feel proud? Very, very. Harman's my younger brother, and um, he's happy. He's doing what he, uh, and he also, he was in the Merchant Navy, my dad was in the Army, so he first went to the Merchant Navy. It didn't click. Because he saw me doing some crazy things. He said, what are you doing with your bike? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? So he, he came in. Uh, and he did a, then he was behind the camera. Now he's acting. He's doing a lot of things. And he hosts. And he reads books. So when he reads books, like companies are sending him books to do reviews. And he's like, wow, man. They've, once as an influencer or an actor or known person, if you express yourself on your given platforms, those brands, they just, yeah zero down because they've got professionals to figure out who these people are. And let's also agree there are also audiences like brands, people working for brands in the marketing, they're also consumers. A lot of people who saw me on roadies who were in college are brand managers and CEOs and also sometimes the kid doesn't understand why I'm being this thing but because they were following me. No, I'm sure they do. I'm sure the kids also understand. I wanted to talk about the mentoring part of it when we see you, you know, let's say mentoring or being with Varun Sood. Supporting him, promoting him, encouraging him, or other squad that you have. You also done some bit there during the COVID pandemic as well, and I'm sure that that page is still active. Yeah. So you know all all of that bit, the mentoring part. Again, that was strategic, or you just found your tribe, and that's when you. It just comes with this uh, strange. I was I went to nine schools. I played sport. I played basketball for Delhi University, Delhi India. And you were at Chase Center, very yeah, recently. Yeah, it's like yeah. And, and in the army, I've seen that when, when a new officer comes into the regiment, everybody's hold, you know, hand holding, uh, bachelor comes, comes to the major's house, khana khana hai, achha, tumhara us bed nahi hai, hamara bed le jao, bedding nahi hai, achha, curtain nahi hai, purane curtain, then the major has to buy new curtains. All of, all of that happened. That's how we were brought up. So in my line of work, especially because I was not from uh, Mumbai and we knew nobody, Zero, one, not one person in Bombay. When I, I went there and I was going to the army and then suddenly, and I realized that every time these guys are coming there because they, I had no example to look at. Ki, I actually want that kind of career. I want that kind of career where I just want to go and adventure and enjoy it. There was nothing like that. And now there's a Varun Sood or a Prince or all these other guys who say, hey, this is good enough. I don't have to have a 100 crore film or be a very good looking model or this and that. But this is also okay. Just continue to just write this thing. So I felt like, oh man, when this person comes, this is going to be a, it's going to be difficult because there's a lot of insecurity in my line of work. Others are getting work, that hurts you. Do you feel that? I don't. I'm, but you're saying that's, that's Every time I had free time, I would just, I, would, I was on a bike to lay. I went to lay from 2003 to 2000, before I met my wife, like 14 times. Because 
This is the first time I had a little money. Little money as in like a, like, what, I can say it, my manager's here, where is she? I was getting 40K a month, my first salary. This was 2003. 2003, and I was like, bro, I don't have anything I already have a motorcycle, 500 rupees tank is full. I'm calling my friends who are in Delhi and all these places. I'm like, let's go to Leh. Yeah. It was a whole thing cost you. And the free time that I had, you know, at that time I was getting offers from like, like a serial that you could be working for 28 days a month for the next four, five years. This is the prime of my youth. And getting like 50K a day, to which that's not, that's not me. So I said no, but during those days, the things that I did, the rides that I did, the sports, the adventure that I did when I was free, is what the influencing is today. This is why somebody will get in touch with me saying, hey man, can you, because I was traveling the world, and uh, with, the, with, with just that, I didn't need more. And that, today I can say as, hey, if you want to follow your passion, make sure you follow it without an agenda. So I tell influencers that instead of saying, maybe travel karta hu, mere koi bike chalane aati hai, kyun nahi ye, ye brands aa rahi ki mein wahan jau. Aap already jau. Ek bar hi nahi, do bar hi nahi, anek bar hi jau. Jab aap ye without agenda karenge, when you do it with actual passion, then things will follow 100%. If you're doing it, I also want to be a travel influencer, I also want to be a fashion influencer, and then I'll do this, and then brands will come and they'll give me... Nah, you got to be doing it already. It has to be already in your system. Once you keep doing it without the agenda of getting the dosh, is when it, it's passion. One thing that bothers a lot of young creators or those who are starting uh, is the numbers. You are an accomplished artist. Of course, you have so many things. Uh, you have a business side of it. And you Isko have... kya diya hai? Kya salary pe? Of course. Nice things. Diya? <laughs> what a guy. We should have him around us all the time. <laughs> no, no, no. It's all from the heart. But uh, Ranveer, so you're doing so many things. You're accomplished. Uh, but then there, there might be many young creators. You have to call my wife once. Please say these things once to her. Because at home, none of these things. And that's the beauty of life. If, you're not take, if you don't take yourself seriously, if you don't, and your parents and your friends and your wi wife don't never take you seriously. So. <laughs> it's not that. It's just like, okay, man, you could be, but you got to be a great husband. Whatever you've accomplished, doesn't matter if you're not a great husband or a great father. That's what counts there. So, a, a lot of that, again, is if you're pure to that, it becomes influencing also. Because the trust factor, somebody, you said trust? No, that lady also said, you, the Etta lady also said trust. If you trust the person that you're following, that's it. Influence comes from that. Of course, yeah, matlab, sub, there are superficial things like some people can't carry off some stuff, some people uh, you know, can do stuff. But what trust or continuous re relatability and relevance. So the reason I was on MTV is one thing. The reason I was not is because suddenly people are not tuning, at, tuning in at 10 o'clock, at 7 o'clock, on a Saturday because they're busy, they're somewhere else and now they're watching stuff on OTT. So I had to get out and do something on Netflix. I had to do something on Amazon. I had to do TVF. Because I also can't tell people, get out of your comfort zone and sit on the floor of the Can't mm, do that, You right? have to reinvent. So if, if after 18 years, I stayed there for another 5-6 years, they'd be like, thank you, sir. What great service. Ikki stopo ki salam. Malab, and thank you. Retire. Get. So while I was in my prime, I had to leave that place in 2020 saying, hey man, I've got a great run. Before people ask me to leave, let me see while I'm in my prime, hey, Sony, can we do something? So Sony said, let's do Shark Tank. I did something with Z where I'm in eight jungles. These are all, I could very well sit there comfortably and just take this, like you said, roadies kind of thing. But me doing just that is not another feather in my cap. Once I step out and do other things and I show to the guys who've been following you sometime that, yeah, man, you got out of his comfort zone and, man. And is it that you had a great run? That is why you're called Run Vijay? I'm glad, so I'm was, glad. My question was, stand-up uh, comedy is not your... <laughs> <laughs> well, you never know. You never know. I might, I might try. No, but uh, Run Vijay, what my question was, uh, do numbers bother you? No, no. There are lots. So this is the other thing. When, especially as a, and as I want you to tell this to, to young creators who are starting. So are, are there any young creators here right now? Oh, there many. Are. And there are lots of brand uh, managers and people. Who, Hi, so, brands. <laughs> Just saying hi. So I want to answer this in two ways. One, for the influencers. But before that, I want to answer this for the brands. A lot of influencers have more numbers than you. Right? Now, if somebody calls me, and I have, say, for example, a certain million 
number of followers and says, how much would you charge to sell this Agarbatti? Right? Brand of Agarbattis. I can say a number. I'll get it. I'll get the numbers. You'll get a million views. How many will I sell? Zero. None of my followers relate that to me. If I say a sneaker, the ticket size is in thousands. But I'll still be able to sell. If I say, say a watch, if I say a health supplement, Otterwin, sorry I'm saying it again and again. But that, that's very fresh. But if, if, if an Agarbatti brand is paying you well, would you still take it? And they don't want any commitment from you when it comes to sales. It doesn't matter. This is my job. I'll do it. You won't it. take it. No, no. I'll do it if I have to. <laughs> because they are sitting here. But, but I'm talking from the brand manager's point. I'm a bad pick. That brand manager should not be contacting me just to show the bosses just the numbers. Hashtag did 50 million. So there are guys who, are follow, who have a following of 40 million, right? If I'm a brand, I will go to him, but I'm going to check that his followers are how much money What is their pocket size? What is their ticket size? The max they can spend is 150 rupees. How can I put a sweatshirt that's worth 1200 on him? But I can sell a deodorant with him for 100 bucks. One day, 80 lakh sale. Pezu. Can he sell? Can his fans buy something that's more than 150? That would be a waste. So as a brand manager, or somebody is reporting to somebody because at the end of the day, if conversion is not happening, what's the point of the numbers? What is the point of numbers? It is only, and today, why am I saying it? Is because we, are, we have a lot of, I'm part of a lot of homegrown Indian brands. I've invested in some companies and I'm trying to grow some companies that are homegrown. We are not that Westerners have shown that there are billion views in our business. And they have a salary. It's not, we're like, dude, if this doesn't convert into sales, it's difficult. Dikhane ke lena is campaign mein. You can do a like, nice mismatch. Ek to hero chahiye hume. To ek bada ki eh, we uh, brand profile ban jata hai. Ye banda hai marbas. Then numbers. Ki isse hume kya chahiye? Ki aara brand ka campaign ka hashtag was trending. Ek nahi bechega. Phir ye pandra log jo bech sakte hai. So you gotta figure out as a creator where you stand. And as a brand of course like Sometimes numbers don't matter. It's the conversion. Sure. Is, that, is that good? My, my last question, and I also want to take one question from the audience. So while we arrange for, for the audience mic, uh, I, my last question. What's the future of influencer marketing? Of course, there are a lot of influencers now. And a lot of people say that this is a bubble which is going to burst very soon. Do you, do you think that's true? And if not, where do you see the future? I can, I'm again going to answer it in two ways. One is that when these influencer marketing tools weren't personalized to a per like a person has this. You have your own. It was happening then also. Pehle bhi ho raha tha. Pehle bhi NDTV pe brands aap promote kar rahe the. Main MTV pe kar raha tha. Right? Usse pehle newspapers bhi. Abala, chal raha tha. Ye nahi nahi hai cheez. And the guys who are creative, if things change, will adapt. If they're good enough, they'll survive. If they're not, we'll figure out. That's, so they'll that's have human to nature. adapt to the new. That's human nature. If you don't survive, you're left behind. Sure. And everybody doesn't have to, see, a career of an influencer or an army officer doesn't have to be that for the rest of their lives. Right. You can do something for some time. You have a good run. Then you become an investor. Then you do that. And you have your shack in Goa, which is everybody's <laughs> and aim. Eventual you can do that. goal. True. It is not my influencer or influencer. So, till the time it works for you, great. As a human being, the one thing that we should be good at is adapting. Mm. North Pole pay bhi hai. Amazon may be in, desert may be in, every place is human beings, adaptable. That's our best feature, hai, best skill. Hai. If you can keep adapting, it's awesome. Marketing is going to be there, there'll be brands, consumers, so we're all of human beings. So maybe it will change, that its name will not be something else, it will be something else. Maybe what I feel like the next thing is that we live, as soon as if this is a live chat, and it's happening in China already, and somebody will be like, hey, what is he wearing, what is he wearing, what is he wearing? Cut, cut, direct, I will get some commission out of that. That's the next phase which you've already seen. AI is going to come into it. But, but if you have influence, it, it'll be another, don't worry about it. Continue to be passionate and organically grow it. Some, it'll, there'll be a use for it somewhere, is what I feel. Might be wrong, which, which is okay. We'll Got see. it. Uh, with that, we've come to an end of this conversation. Ranvijay, thank you. Uh, and thanks for all these insights. Round of applause for this guy, man. Such, That's such very nice kind of you. Energy. Thank you. Great command, and, and I've worked with them before. We've, we've done stuff before. We've so done, we've done, yes. You've come a long way, man. Well done. Thanks, Anvijay. Thanks. Cheers.
Thank With you, this, guys. we've come to an end of this chat. This is Arun Singh signing off for NDTV.